move on. One question I always love to ask um, artists that come into town to visit us or we go out and visit them is um, their most touching, personal, best fan reaction that they've ever had. Can you think of one for us? Um, well, there, there have been a few. I mean, um, you know, I've had like people bring pictures or I'm vegan so they'll bring like vegan cookies or cupcakes and and uh which are great because we have these eight hour drives and but um i mean the, the craziest thing i ever saw and i mean that in the nicest way uh was in japan um because uh the people you know we get off the airport off the airplane and we're in the airport and there's people in the airport who, who are waiting for us I guess the security is different and they can come to the gate. So uh, so we're like, oh my gosh, like, this is crazy. There's people here to, you know, this is when I was in TBS. And and then you get to the hotel and they're there. And then you get to the next show and they're there. They're, they they go on tour with you and, and sit in your hotel all day. Uh, just a couple people. Um, uh, and, and by the end you're like, you feel like they're your best friend, but it is pretty, pretty, I mean, it sounds pretty crazy to us cause I've never experienced that here, but by the end, like these are your good friends and, and you go home, you know, and, uh, it, it was, uh, it was definitely a different world over there, but I, I, I don't, I don't know how touching that is, but I mean, I, I the, the thing is like a lot of the cool awesome things that happen they happen to me you know pretty often and, and and i'm very lucky for that and i like i try so hard uh to to you know like i work hard to stay lucky and as what i always say i i, I try to uh, uh you know i just i don't know i don't i, I don't i don't know how to thank those people because i i ho apparently i my music has affected them but they then in turn way affect me and it's it's crazy so sounds like a, a very very charming but absolutely like something that would most definitely keep you keep you going without a doubt right? yeah exactly that's what it's all about yeah yeah it sounds that sounds absolutely out of this world uh i've never i've never heard it put in a, in, the, in those terms but that's pretty neat oh thanks yeah cool no it's it's uh well that's the way you know it's the people i mean that's what keeps me going, like you said. I mean, that I mean, I don't know. I could tell you. I, I don't know. We get into storytelling, and people go, "Man, you have a lot of stories." But I just, it's because I appreciate it, and I try to remember it. And uh, so, anyway, maybe one day we'll be a story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe one day we'll see. We're, the night is still young. The night <laughs> is still young. That's for sure. So, um, I only have two more questions left, and. Some of them I want to ask about outside your music career. When you put down the guitar, when you yeah. put, when you kind of put down the pencil and pad, pencil and pad, and all that stuff. And what what are your personal plans? What are the things that you do for fun, or things that you plan on accomplishing outside of music? Um, well, I have a '82 Rabbit, and I um, I've been starting to uh, tinker with that and try to fix little things on it, which is like. Because I decided that I needed some kind of hobby because that's all I do normally is play guitar. Um, I don't even watch TV really, so I just uh, so I was like, all right, got to do something. So I always wanted to know how to fix cars, so that's kind of my newest thing. I'm horrible at it so far. I need to buy some real tools, um, but uh, but it's been fun. Like I'm pretty good with wiring, but I just uh, when it comes to like the real heavy stuff. I don't know how I would ever do that, but you know, I'm starting here. So I'm into that. And then, um, just being outside a lot. I like, I like, uh, I've always liked swimming, but I've kind of gotten into running lately. I ran a 10 K, uh, earlier this year for the, yeah, it was, it was very, it killed me. I near, I nearly cried a few times going, you know, there was a few Hills turn the corner, big Hill. I whimpered a little. It was sad, but no, I made it. No, I trained for it. So it was, uh, you know, I don't know. I've just been uh, doing stuff like that to keep me busy and hopefully healthy. Sounds good. 10K. That kind of blows my mind. It was uh, rough. 
<laughs> it was rough. <laughs> well, now, you said that you were originally born and from Coatesville, correct? Yeah, yeah. What is something that you miss the most from there? Well, when I go on tour, I miss Wawa and Turkey Hill um, because that's where you get your snacks and your iced tea and uh, all that. And then you go, like, to the Midwest and all they have is 7-Eleven and you're like, Come on now, like this won't do. Like they don't even have good sandwiches, but we still have a couple turkey hills in Scranton. I saw them, and I'm gonna be going to them on the way out tonight, definitely. Awesome. So that you know that, and it's really green in Coatesville, and uh, you know it's just really uh, you know the city has had its hard times, but the surrounding areas are super nice and and a lot of nature. So you know. But I still see that. I mean, you guys know what that is up here. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, the last question I have is uh, just a question. I saved the last question to just be something totally out there, totally random. Cool. And um, now, you know Britney Spears, I take it. <laughs> of course. And you know Miley Cyrus. Yes. The Hannah Montana, yes. of course. All right. Who would win in a fight? Uh, definitely Britney Spears because she's... Yeah, she's super tough, and now like she's, you know, she's got her weight up a little bit. She's like a, you know, heavy hitter, you know. But like, I don't know. I don't even think Hannah Montana would be tough enough to shave her head, and uh, we all know what Britney looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's too sweet. She, she's not jaded enough yet. Give it a couple years, it might be a close fight. But right now, she would get slaughtered. <laughs> Sounds good. I like that answer. Well, Fred, I appreciate all your time. Yeah, I hope all the viewers love this interview. And uh, make sure you don't touch that dial because when we come back, we're going to have even more and some live footage with the color Fred.